first for Connie. Welcome, Connie. Hopefully this will be a soft landing. It won't be too, too intense. First for me, welcome, Adam. How cool. Okay, 701. <laughs> Pamela wants intense. <laughs> Pamela, are you sure? Cartooning can get really intense. Yeah, Pamela knows. <laughs> Pamela, what's the most in intense cartooning experience you've ever had? <laughs> Kelly also agrees with Pamela. Uh-oh, I might have to turn it up to 11 then. Uh, Hillary Price. Did you take the uh, single panel workshop with Hillary? <laughs> Sam goes to 11. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to do this little brief saw introduction, then I'll hand it over to you. Let me share my screen. Here, there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Friday night workshop at SAW, which we took over from Believer Magazine, as Emma was just discussing. Um, and tonight, it is simple and specific with Emma Hunsinger. Here's her uh, Instagram handle, which you may want to tag your posts, your work, if you share it later on social media. Um, SAW is a is an online and brick and mortar school and a community. We have a load of online courses that you can see at our main site, Learn Saw Comics Org. And we also have online membership groups. The next big medium sized course is Comics with Josh and Hyena Hell. They're also gonna be hosting the next Friday uh, workshop. And the next big size course is the six month graphic novel development intensive. We're also a community and we hope you'll share the work that you do here on social media, as well as on the Saw Mighty Network site. You can use these tags. I'll paste them again at the end. Hashtag Friday Night Comics, um, tag us at Comics Workshop and Emma, uh, at E.D. Hunsinger. And you can also join hundreds of people sharing their work at our free member site, which is once again, memberssawcomics.org. And you can find video or archives of all of our Friday night workshops here. And again, I'll post this in chat. So you have all these links. We survive from tuitions and donations. Um, you can support us at PayPal or Patreon. Um, or at members.sawcomics.org. Please no inappropriate speech or images. You will be permanently banned. Um, I ask you that you um, mute uh, during Emma's presentation. And then at the end, when we share work, you can turn your mics back on. And um, I, you know, this is a big pet peeve when people say enjoy like it's a command. Uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> tonight with Emma. Emma, you can take it away. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. And I would like to reiterate that you, you better enjoy this workshop. Um, there will be massive consequences if you don't. Um, I'm gonna start by sharing my screen. I am addicted to making PowerPoints. So I got to indulge in my strange addiction today by making a PowerPoint for you all. So this is simple and specific with me, Emma Hunsinger. I am a cartoonist. I uh, got my start in the pages of the New Yorker magazine doing gag cartoons. And then from there, I got into long form work and um, had a piece for the New Yorker called uh, How to Draw a Horse that I would say is the piece I'm best known for. 
Currently, I am working on a full length graphic novel for Green Willow, uh, which is a publisher and it will come out in 2023. So in a full year from now, right now the book is just a bunch of uh, messy pencil pages. Um, so let's warm up. Before I sit down to draw, I always like to warm up. Even if it's just a few quick drawings, I think it's helpful to ease into my comics work with some doodling. My favorite way to warm up, uh, to do warm up drawings is by picking something to draw and then drawing it a few times in different ways, um, just sort of like play around and have fun with it. And so to warm up for tonight's workshop, I wanna start by drawing a simplified human figure. And so what do I mean by that? Um, human beings in reality have proportions that are true to them, right? No matter what you look like, you have specific proportions and a lot of artists work really hard to recreate those proportions on the page. Um, and so there is a way to draw which adheres to realistic proportions, but that way of drawing can be very difficult for some and extremely time consuming for most. Um, but drawing a simplified human figure, we let go of, our, of the strict adherence to those proportions and we can play with the figure however we please. We can shrink and stretch the body. We can take a few fingers off. We can inflate heads. We could even inflate forearms if we wanted to. And so for this warm up, I want you to simplify the human figure in your own way. I want you to think about what you really like drawing when you draw people. So if you like drawing expressions, then make the head really big. Or if you like drawing limbs, you can make your simplified human super lanky. Um, if you don't like drawing hands or feet, then try drawing a simplified human in a way where hands and feet are no longer a burden to you. So let's just take a few minutes, maybe like two or three, maybe four, and create our own simplified human. We won't share these yet, but we can uh, share them at the end. And I'm gonna switch my video so that I can draw along with you. Okay, so let's take to like 712.
All right. Does everybody have one simplified human being? I am really excited to see these when the time comes. Oops, sorry. All right. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen again. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about simplicity and specificity and why they pair up so nicely. Both simplicity and specificity are a matter of details. When you simplify something, you include only a few details. And when you are specific about something, you include exact details. In terms of drawing, details are things you include to help the reader understand of the, rea the reality of your comic. Here's a page from a Noah Van Skyver work and a page from one of Pascal Girard's. Both of these pages show the exact same thing, a, a person walking from point A to B. In the same amount of time, they're both three panels, but both artists include vastly different amounts of details. You can see Noah is rendering almost everything in his page. He's putting texture in the sky, on the houses, in the grass. It's like everywhere. He's drawing the seams of clothing. Whereas in Pascal Girard's uh, page, you only get like a little bit of brick against the buildings. You get a little bit of sidewalk. You don't even get the full car. It's just like, it's just little bits of detail. The level of detail we include in our drawing is something we do innately, typically without much examination. Sometimes how much detail we put in a drawing is based off of our drawing abilities. Like I don't draw the shine in people's hair because I don't really know how. And other times our drawing details is based off of, is limited by the tools we used. So like if you only use a brush pen, you're probably not gonna go in and draw teeny tiny wood grain on everything because you're, the tool you're working with is just too thick for that. Um, you can include or exclude details for any number of reasons, and oftentimes they tend to be like external reasons that dictate how much detail we put into a drawing. Like maybe you're doing it for somebody who's just a friend and so you can just dash it off. Maybe the page is really big so you can't include that much, right? But how much detail we do use is in our control and high detail and low, low detail drawings can both achieve the same things. But I wanna to talk today about how few details we do actually need to communicate something. So how much can we simplify our drawings? We know that people will see a smiley face and understand it to be a face. And we also know that people can infer something if you give them a little bit of context, right? Here's just like a shape. It's just like an oval on the ground. But if I give you a little bit more to work with, now we start to see it as a foot, right? In this way, we are free to be simple. And when we are free, uh, and then we are free to include however, like whatever details we want, and then we can include only the things we really care about, which takes us to specificity. Specificity, exact details. I can tell you from personal experience that people love specificity. It can make things funnier, it can make harder things easier to understand and more clear, but most importantly, it can connect your work uh, to your readers more. When you nail the exact details of an experience, your drawing about whatever can become more vivid to your readers. To give an example, in a comic I made that ran in the New Yorker called How to Draw a Horse, I tell the story of how I came to have a crush on another girl in seventh grade. The comic uses a framework that explores side by side how I learned to draw horses, which I did in order to impress the girl, and how I started to question the feelings I was having. Nowhere in the piece do I use the words feelings, crush, love, lesbian, gay, queer, anything like that. Instead, I use specific details of how I was behaving and they all accumulate and basically scream to the reader, like this girl has a crush on this other girl. 
I paired the specific details with super simple drawings. I just did it on copy paper with one of those um, yellow sharp writer mechanical pencils. And the piece really worked. A lot of people read it and were like, oh wow, that happened to me too. And it was just like that. So you don't need to be an expert in light, shadow, anatomy, proportion in order to communicate something evocatively to your audience. Pairing specific details with simple drawings can do the trick. So let's try it. First, a prompt. I want you to think of a very specific feeling and it doesn't have to be a profound feeling. It can be something like the first sip of a seltzer or stubbing your toe, thinking you see a celebrity, but then it turns out it's just a normal person. All of these are like really very specific feelings, right? So I want you to think of a specific feeling and I'm going to ask you to create a comic about it. And I want you to draw that comic super simply in four, in at least four panels. Um, and so I want you to communicate your feeling in this comic, but there is a twist. You can only use these four words. Yes, no, oh, and wow. You don't have to use any words at all if you don't want to, but if you want to use words, you can only use these four. Uh, you can use them as many times as you like, and you can also use sound effects, but otherwise like no writing, just yes, no, oh, wow. Um, and if anyone is out there thinking like, oh, well, my specific feeling is hearing Michael Barbaro saying his name at the beginning of the New York Times Daily podcast. So I have to include him saying, I'm Michael Barbaro. No, you can't, that's not allowed. <laughs> Why am I being such a stickler about no words? Because oftentimes in comics, we use words when we could actually draw something in a way that's way more interesting instead of just telling somebody, right? Um, I want you to practice that. It might be hard, but see if you can draw a visual representation of Michael Barbaro saying his name. Really push yourself to try and get there. And remember, this is just practice. One of the most important things to learn about making comics is you rarely get it right on the first try. And when this workshop is over, you can always make this comic again and you can absolutely do it without these constraints. So with that in mind, let's get started. Again, at least four panels. If you need more, go ahead and take more. You can use sound effects. And you can only use the words if somebody's going to be saying something, yes, no, oh, and wow. And you can use those words as much as you need to in the comic. So let's take 20 minutes to draw this. And then when the 20 minutes is up, we will all share. I'm very excited to see what everybody does. Yes, no, oh, and wow. That is all you are allowed. I can keep it up if that helps. Or here, I'll write it. I'm like a bigger pen. Hopefully this is intense enough for Pamela. Pamela, if you need a more intense prompt, just let me know in the chat and I can um, come up with something that is really impossible. If anybody else is looking for a more intense <laughs> comics experience, um, you can try drawing with, oh no, the camera's backwards. You can try drawing with your feet. Um, you can also um, try drawing underwater and then your paper will continue to melt. 
Um, those are some really good challenges. I don't know, I can make this go right ways. Hopefully everybody can read backwards. Here it is, look at how helpful that is. It makes no sense. Bam, okay, figured it out. Oh no, it was only mirrored for me. Um, yes, four panels all about the same feeling. You want these four panels to heighten um, to heighten your feeling to like really sort of send home what you're trying to trying to communicate. Sound effects are okay. That's right. With only faces, no, whatever you like, but draw it simply, right? Don't, don't get hung up. I always know that um, I'm too stressed about my drawing if I start fussing over somebody's elbow. If I redraw somebody's elbow more than three times, I need to walk away from the page and stop looking at it um, because it means I'm getting I'm getting too bogged down by details that don't really matter. Um, we'll be doing this until 7.40. So you have 
a little over 10 minutes. Sure what? Ooh, somebody asked what kind of pen I'm using. And I'm so glad you asked because I finally get a chance, another chance to evangelize about rapidographs. Rapidographs are one of the <laughs> most difficult <laughs> to maintain pens you can possibly get your hands on. But what I love about rapidographs is that the ink goes down super dark, um, which makes like scanning really easy. Um, and it also uh, like dries really quickly and it has this like teeny tiny nib. I don't know if it'll show up. Um, that is like super scratchy on the paper. I really love um, a pen with a lot of drag. Um, but they like, if you leave the cap off, if you leave it in the sun, if you don't use it every two days, um, it like it clogs and you have to spend, I'm, I'm serious, like no less than 45 minutes cleaning it. They are really, really finicky and I love them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pablo says her pitograph 80% cleaning, 20% drying. And I've like, I've sort of love now um, figuring out what's wrong with them because they have all different kinds of things that can go wrong. Like they can get really gummy ink stuck in like the nib and then they'll, they'll like work a certain way and they won't, they'll only work at certain angles, blah, 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 blah. Um, so like troubleshooting has become like a new hobby of mine. It's like doing Sudoku's for me, like figuring out what's wrong with my rapidographs. Um, so I really recommend them um, if you love things that work really well, but are also really high maintenance. Jen, if you, Jen, you can like send me your epitographs and I'll clean them for you. I I'm also on a mission to become, <laughs> for the first time in 20 years, <laughs> I'm on a mission to become like the country's leading expert in fixing rapidographs. So if anybody has um, rapidographs that have like massive problems, reach out to me and I'll try and fix them for you on my quest to become um, the rapidograph queen. Do they come in sizes? Yes, they come in here. I'll show you my full set. They come in even more sizes than this. 
So here, let's see, who did I pull out? Have this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven, at least seven sizes. Um, and I like them more than, than pens that have a felt tip because I feel like microns and such, the, uh, the ink doesn't come out that dark, which makes like scanning and cleaning up your comics a little bit harder. Um, also, when you erase over rapidographs, like nothing happens. This ink is really, really good. It's really strong. It dries really quickly. Before I was using rapidographs, I was using a 512 nib, like the dip kind of pen. And that was, a, that was like a horrible mess, even though I really did like it too. Um, let's see. So now this, the chat has turned into a Zoom marketplace for rapidographs. <laughs> Ina brings up a good point, which is that rapidographs like aren't messy at all. You get the same size line, the same thickness, the same darkness every single time. So you don't like end up with as many happy mistakes. You have to sort of like make those beautiful mistakes in your, in your line work. And um, you can't really count on the tool to like do any surprises for you. All right, so we have about six minutes left. Um, so it might be time for people to start wrapping up. Let's see, yeah, look at, I left the cap off too long. And now it won't work.
All right, just one minute left. You can wrap up your comic. If you wanna share, you can go ahead and prepare your, your notes on your sharing speech. And you can also, yeah, raise your hand, and make sure your camera's on. Using the um, reactions to raise hand if you're on Zoom. All right, let's get going. Jared, J-A-R-E-D. Okay. <laughs> Tell us your feeling. What did you make a comic about? <laughs> um, about like kind of a girl who wrote this horse. Oh yeah, I see that. So yeah. the girl's wearing, she's wearing like a beautiful pattern dress and the horse has like a beautiful long black mane. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Ugh, amazing. Do you both ride horses a lot in pattern dresses? Well, I, well, no, no, horses, but I, I have dresses. I, I rode, rode a horse too. I trained for dogs. Um, and I do ride horses sometimes. Got it. Well, um, now my cousin would like this, sir. She's oh, from North yeah. Dakota. Got it. Anyway, excellent work. That was a really wonderful yeah. drawing. <laughs> All right, thank you both so much for sharing. Uh, she mm -hmm. hasn't shared yet, she's getting it ready. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, oh okay. I don't know why. She's <laughs> it. All right, what you got? <gasps> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and then <gasps> oh, <laughs> I see them saying no. <laughs> wow. Ooh, you were drawn really hard. You got a little hole on the page. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not yet, not yet, Jared. <laughs> still jazzy. Wow. Ooh, I love it. I love those flowers at the end. Beautiful flowers. And that's for dog. It's hard to see. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. she's a black dog, I guess. She blends in the dark. <laughs> wow. Nice work. Thank you. Tom. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Can you still have the camera on? <laughs> okay, Jasmine and River. What were you two working on? So, uh, well, we were working on two different things. Uh, you should go first. Go ahead. All right, so my main feeling for this comic is anger. So the boy very wanted this... R-rated video game, uh -oh. video game shop. And the cashier is like, no, you're a kid. <laughs> climbs up and he's like, wow. Also, did you know some people were like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, so have you done this before? Have you like climbed over the register to get an R-rated video game? Uh, <laughs> it's okay. You, you know what? You don't have to answer. This is recorded, so you can tell me off the record. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Excellent work. That was a good one. Good use of no and wow. <laughs> and mine was um, 
I didn't use any words, but it started here and I stubbed my toe and I was really sad. And I tried to use like colors to like speak. So like the red for the pain and the blue for the sadness and even gave like the rock a silly little face, like kind of like the rock was like taunting. And then over here came a friend <laughs> with a uh, loving support because sometimes we just need like you know an extra little hug to help us you know get through some painful times <laughs> and you know we could see like the pain like uh was going away little by little from uh, all of it excellent work great visual language i love using the colors instead of like the words that was really great. What a beautiful comic about stubbing your toe on a really mean rock. Yeah. <laughs> but Thank the rock know. ended up being uh, a nice little calm smiley face at the end because it was touched by the wholesome hug. <laughs> oh, it's like the grin. The rock like learned something about kindness. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. Who's that, Cassie? It's Hi. me, Christian. Also Christian, apparently. <laughs> Hang on, Christian, we got Cassie up right now. Cassie, tell us what you did. All right, so um, the feeling that I was drawing is, um, I love doing Zumba, and sometimes <laughs> people will tell me I'm, that I'm really good at it and that they follow me when they're trying to learn the steps. So that's the feeling I was trying to draw. So up here, uh, we have me dancing my heart out. Hmm. And then there's some people kind of watching like, ooh, I think I could do that. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, you absolutely can do that. <laughs> and then yes, we're all dancing amazingly together. Oh my God, perfectly. So how often does this happen to you? Great. Um, like how often do people compliment me on my Zumba dancing? <laughs> yeah, when are you just like Zumbaing out in public and then you get oh, two oh, strangers? Oh, well, I go to a Zumba class. Think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and um, so, I mean, imagine being surrounded by people, but, you know, <laughs> spotlight on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I wanted to um, include the music, but I didn't want to be as literal as drawing music notes. So I drew these kind of little lines. It totally works. I like the second I saw it, I knew that that was the music just because of the way you have it being like as flowy as the dancing. Also, excellent gestures for each yeah. of the I do a I lot really of figure know. drawing, so it's paying <laughs> it, off, I guess. It certainly is. Thank you, Cassie. That was really, that was really wonderful. Hi, Michael. Almost. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, I sprained my ankles. I sprained my ankle a couple of days ago. So I've been on crutches. So the first one is showing, let's see, the first one is showing crutches going downstairs. Uh -huh. The second one is going down more stairs. Mm -hmm. The third one is losing a grip on the crutches and uses the word O. Oh. <laughs> and the fourth one is after you've lost hold of one of the crutches and it says, wow. <laughs> oh dear. Wonderful crutches drawings. That's really great. That's what I have them here to draw from. Thanks. Oh, perfect. You have some reference. Yeah. <laughs> That's really great. Did you have a good time doing this one, Michael? Yes, it was much more pleasant than actually losing the crutches. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much. I'm glad my workshop was better than falling down the stairs. It is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I need you guys to be quiet. All right, Chris, you're up. Um, mine had to do with uh, silent apprehension and alarm. I was at a, um, a public event a long time ago and um, oh, I saw this woman and she, I didn't know her, but she had a drink and there was a bee flying nearby. <laughs> and I thought, oh, and then she wasn't paying attention and the bee went and landed on her drink. And I thought, wow. And then, uh, 
it went inside her drink and she picked it up to drink and I thought no <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything because I, I just I didn't say anything I don't know why and then it didn't nothing happened and then the bee flew away and I thought yes that's good <laughs> Great work, Chris. I love that you used a different word for every panel. That's hilarious. Good, 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 like moment to apply to this specific um, comic. That was really well done. Thanks. Wow. All right, Audrey. Hi there, everyone. This is, this is bafflement. <laughs> No. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. great. Good. Very clever use of like you only have a few words to use. So how do you like show a conversation with only a few words? And a telephone is a really, really great um, answer to that. <laughs> what was the yeah. call about? Do you know? Is it part of the, the backstory? No, it's just sometimes you get these phone calls and you think like, what, what, what's going on here? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you, Audrey. Thanks. Great work. Thank thanks. Mary and Yesha, I can't spotlight you until you turn on your camera. So I'm going to move to Kate. Hi, Kate. Oop, oh. almost. Okay. There you go. Hi. Um, all right. This was fun. Where is it? Ooh, Kate, are you by BAM? Yes. Where Got are you? It. What? Where are you? I'm in Vermont, man. I'm, I'm nowhere but near. You know, I, you I know, know the BAM when I see right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, this is my, yeah, just this, this will upstage me for sure, but yeah. Here I am. I've been here for many, many years since before. Anyway, and also now the clock doesn't work. And oh, it's so great. <laughs> it's weird. It's always 10 of 8. <laughs> it's always 10 of 8. Bye, bam. All right. Oh, oh here I am. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Share screen? No. It's okay. Right. One second, Kate. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. There you go. All right. You're back. Oh, Sorry okay. about that. It's okay. So this was really quick because my drawing table actually sort of um, dumped a bunch of stuff and I had to I had to save paint for like half the session. But um, <laughs> it was all saved. Okay. So this this is the four panels. Mm. There's the whole page. It's yes. um, <laughs> it's about a specific feeling uh which doesn't really exist but here it is yes no <laughs> oh <laughs> you get it okay I get it. So it's about freeing yourself. And then all of a sudden you start floating and you're not like really into it. But then the floating is kind of nice. And then you're up in space and you're enjoying you're enjoying the view of the universe. <laughs> That's excellent. It's Great job. Freeing yourself and maybe getting a little more freedom than you. <laughs> <laughs> excellent work. Great use Thank of you. simple drawing. You just use the like the sort of like semicircle of earth and just like a few stars to communicate like floating up into the air so perfectly. Thank you. I noticed that somebody says, and then you're dead, which is not entirely not what it's about. But thank <laughs> you, everybody. Wow, multiple interpretations of Kate. Thank you, Kate. That was really excellent. Oh, it's me. Hi, Mary. Hi. Okay, so um this I guess this is alarm mainly but that's me saying yes because I'm leaving work and then I'm driving home and I'm just like doing my karaoke in my car and then I get into my garage and I reach over to the seat and I go 
what? Oh, which, which I didn't say because that wasn't on the list. Yeah. <laughs> but I put a, a little question mark. Very good. And then I went, oh no. Uh oh. And then I drove all the way back to the office. I'm running down the hallway. And, and there is my purse right where I left it. Thank okay. the gods. <laughs> That is a very specific feeling. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, oh my God. Is, Your yes. whole life is in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Great. My phone, everything. Yeah, right? You can't just like pretend it's not there. Yeah, I know. can't go through the night without it. Like, ah! Great job. Very, very evocative. Um, Thank you. Great <laughs> gestures and oh no. <laughs> Hi, Isha. Hello. Hi. Um, so, okay. Uh, can you see this? All right. So this is the, I'm not, I'm new to like paneling and panels and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, so anyway, but this is an apartment building and someone in there is saying yes. And this <laughs> is the person looking out at this like view and, and this is the person's face saying, wow, this person may or may not be me. Um, <laughs> This is the person after they moved in going, no, dump, dump, boom, shaka, <laughs> go then, and then take a look at the clock and uh -oh. take a look at the clock again, no, <laughs> and then, I don't know if this one is, this one I thought would be kind of difficult to tell, but I don't know if you can tell what's happening there it's knocking on the door um now recording the sound from the apartment below <laughs> on their cell phone <laughs> which may or may not have happened multiple times and then Peace. like too asleep to even say yes <laughs> <laughs> wow what a saga I have a lot of white hair. <laughs> Great you. job, Yesha. That was that was excellent. I'm sorry for all the noise, though. <laughs> hey, Emma, how are you doing on time? Do you do we have time to, to for a few more shares or do you yeah need yeah let's do a few more absolutely okay all right Donna and Ryan all right. <laughs> She's shy. That's okay. Tell them about your dog. Um, the first one, the baby decided it was going to go on the bookshelf and the mom starts screaming no. <laughs> then the baby took a nap. The mom was happy. <laughs> then the baby's toy got stuck on the top shelf of the bookshelf and then it colored a picture with its mom's pen <laughs> and then the mom says wow at the little <laughs> baby you always got to be impressed with those drawings <laughs> yeah oh i love your little baby drawing it was really cute and it looks like really small and and it really it looks added like a baby that should not be crawling <laughs> <laughs> excellent work i love the mom going wow at the baby's drawing. That was really sweet. My reaction to your drawings isn't. <laughs> Aww. I went very basic with my drawings because I paint instead of drawing. Oh, yeah. You know, if parental face palming was a mood. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> Tell them they can have a cookie and then they smash the cookie jar. <laughs> that's a great strategy. I don't know if that's that's been your strategy, but definitely works pretty well getting all the cookies out of the cookie jar. It really does. <laughs> Especially if they can't figure out the lid. <laughs> Excellent work. Thank you both so much. That was really great. I love that baby. Hi. Right. This Hi, is Mishka. my this is my bonus drawing, but it follows well on the cookie jar. So <laughs> here I am, yes. And then there's a group of kids saying, wow. 
yes with big eyes and i say no and then oh. and then i walk away and say wow no <laughs> i kept that balloon but really the original good. the original was the urgent need to pee so uh, oh 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 no 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 yes <laughs> oh, wait 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 i lost my oh yeah okay so the last one i couldn't quite draw well so here's the new last panel oh Ooh. no <laughs> <laughs> wow the people That's love right. it the people all love the, the tragic ending all the too young to get there in time and the to uh consume in your work together in time and make the audience. <laughs> hilarious great work Mishka thank you so much okay. all right Susan how'd you do well let me see turn turn my picture here um well no matter which way I go it wants <laughs> to turn it the other way let's see here sorry about that that's okay take your time so I was a little tricky on the iPad, right? Okay. Yeah. So um, my experience was my uh, good buddy, seven-year-old next door neighbor's mother texted me to say that his dad planned a Mother's Day party for tomorrow. So he can't go with me to the um, free comic day and do a comic lesson. So my first reaction was, oh no. And then I was like, hmm. <laughs> And then I looked at the clock to think about if I could reschedule something. And yes, there was time to reschedule it to take advantage of that opening for tomorrow. Ooh, that is a really specific feeling when somebody cancels something and it turns out one door closed it's, and another it's door. A bonus. <laughs> Indeed. I love that big old watch. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent work. Thank you, Susan. That was really sweet. All right, Mickey. Hey, um, mine is uh, frustration to pleasant surprise. It's just uh, doing work and a phone buzzing <laughs> and getting immediately furious and then being kind of, oh, it's not a, not a bad thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> and that's it. Great work. I love the angle from below at the drawing board. That's Thank you. Like a, that's a tricky one, but you did it really well. Thank you. Nice work, Mickey. That's two like phone ones in a row. All right. Who else have we got? Jeff. Hi. Good to get this up. Ooh, high tech. Beautiful. Well, yeah, trying to figure it out here. Where am I? There you go. So mine is, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, mine is shock. Uh, it's about the recent announcement from the Supreme Court. And uh, so I wasn't sure. I didn't want to do breaking news. So I did yes, meaning yes, they're going to overturn it. I'm watching the TV. I'm going at first, oh, and then I'm going, no, 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 no. And then I'm just shocked. I'm just like, wow. That's, wow. that's, that's where I was coming from then. Oh yeah. Lots of emotions on that one. Yeah. Definitely, definitely no wow and oh. <laughs> a lot. That's <laughs> All of one. those. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Toady. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I didn't think I was going to get to go. Um, first, I want to show my little person that I drew. Um, oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. Look at that little head. Nice work. Um, and then ooh, let's see if this will focus. <laughs> yeah, so mine was basically, you know, brain freeze. <laughs> We've all been there. I'm a chronic slushy drinker, so... We got the, the four stages of grief going on. <laughs> I love that the brain like pops out of the head. <laughs> Great expression too. 
hilarious. Thank you. I like the dropping the drink. That's also a really nice deal. <laughs> Thanks. Clued. Awesome. Thank you. That was really great. Jason. I'm guessing Jason's in the middle. Yeah, that's Jason. <laughs> uh, right, I'm Jason. Jason. This is our dog Yuki and my daughter Mackenzie. So, oh. uh, all right. Mines. I have a, an annoying neighbor who's always coming over. <laughs> so, like here he is approaching. I'm like, oh no. And he starts talking. <laughs> My eyes spiral and my drool, mouth starts drooling. And then he's still talking, uh, even when I'm dead, so. Oh my God. <laughs> Excellent work. I love that first panel. I knew immediately it was an annoying neighbor. You got like the way he was walking so perfect. The yeah. annoying neighbor walk. You have one too? Yeah. Yeah, Mackenzie's got one too. She's actually the better artist. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll hold it up to you. So in the first one, in the first one I'm standing, and this is my comic is about the feeling of being watched and stopped, uh, I guess. So <laughs> and there's a girl at school who watches everything I do. Anyway, so um First, I'm sitting and I can kind of feel her stare. I'm starting to grow a sense for it now. And then I hear a snap. I know that's not one of the words, but um, that one. Okay. It's it. a sound effect. It's yeah, loud. sound effect. So snap. And I start to turn and she runs. And then the final panel, uh, final two panels is me. You know, my awkward feeling after that, like, is she still watching me? You know? <laughs> and I <laughs> see that she is so oh God. <laughs> great drawings yeah. bad feeling great drawings good job also communicating it too that was really excellent i love the little like dotted lines for vision excellent work thanks excellent thank you all right thank you jason mckenzie one more and then we'll say good night melanie Hi, Melanie. Oh, Melanie, you got to unmute. <laughs> oh, go. hi, yo, yo. This is me, Melanie, and this is my drawing. And this is my um, four people um, looking at this um, picture. It says, oh, um, no, yes, and then oh, wow. And <laughs> flowers on in the top. And, and, and um, food and tacos and cake and, and a drink. And it's my um my um like Laura be right there and I think that's um like um um daddy and my brother um daddy and this is me and uh, my daddy I'm uh, um, eating potatoes and and um broccoli um and he wants and he wants to get strong. <laughs> is your dad always eating broccoli and potatoes? Oh wow. Great job. I yeah, love that comic cool. about your dad eating broccoli and potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so excellent. The flowers are really nice too. Also, Melanie, you gave everybody outfits, which is really <laughs> extra points for that. It's really hard to think up of different outfits. Awesome work. Thank you, Melanie. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> all right well now it's dark so my lighting's all weird thank you so much everybody for coming thank you uh to saw for having me um <laughs> my cat's going in the litter box off screen <laughs> which i feel like is a great way to end the zoom call um thank you so much again for coming uh saw michael i think these are hosted every friday is that right so you can mm -hmm. keep coming to these for the rest of your life if you <laughs> thanks next, emma that was great thank you it was so good thank you thank you, thank you so much yeah. Yeah. it was just so wonderful emma. Thank you. <laughs> if you haven't been following the chat um there's a link to the after party where you can continue to uh, share if you didn't get a chance the next workshop 
is with uh, Josh Bayer and Hyena Hell. And we also put in the chat um, uh, uh, hashtags if you want to share your work on social media. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you so much, Emma. Great job. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Thanks. I made you laugh, Michael. <laughs> hmm? I heard what? you laugh. I made you laugh. <laughs> I think that was you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. <laughs> that was great. I'm just leaving it up in case anybody needs to grab some of those links. Oh, yeah. Before they leave. <laughs>